Hello everyone, welcome back to Cardboard Journey. My name is Justin and today we're going to be taking a look at Mystical Empire. I have the four advanced play decks and a starter pack to look at. I have only recently learned of this game. It reminds, at least the artwork reminds me of a lot of uh, old school magic artwork, which is pretty cool. Um, crazy enough, the the a lot of the font looks reminds me of D and D back in the day, but. And this game apparently came out in 2001. Apparently it was not, I don't, it seems like it wasn't very good because I never heard of it. But then again, I never heard of a lot of games. A lot of games outside of Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff doesn't seem to last very long. I'm looking this game up, it seems that there was only two sets that I'm able to find out about. I'm not 100% sure on that, but from what I've seen, there's only two. So let's take a look and see what we got here. What comes in the starter, the starter pack? Is anything like the starter decks? Let's find out. what we get inside this it says includes everything needed for your first two player game two 25 card starter decks one booster pack beginner's guide comprehensive rule book and two beginners play mats and it's published by northeast games never heard of them at the Pack. These are I'm guessing the no, they're not play mats. What is this? It says what type, uh, what the symbols are: leadership, loyalty, action, power, health, reaction, speed, trowel token, hammer token, integrity, dark magic, light magic, temporal magic, general magic. And it, hey, at least it shows the rarity. So ultra rares are like a, was that a goldish color? So the least amount of dots, the rarer it is. Got it. And what is that? That is a character damage. Okay. I'm guessing the two decks in here are. Dark Union and Mage Warfare. Right. Got the Beginner's Guide. this comprehensive rules so once you've learned the basics read this book to learn more learn the core rules and find the answers to your questions as you play against your friends that's cool at least it gives you like a very in-depth um, rule book it gives you a basic play rule book to get you started and then as you play you got like a more in-depth rule book takes you deeper into the game that's cool that's a good idea And I guess both decks are coming out of here. This looks like Magi Supremacy is Lord Zycon, because we have a Lord Zycon deck here. So I'm assuming they took the other decks and made them smaller for beginners.
So we got Lord Zykon, which is a character by that symbol. And Morlock Debane, which is uncommon or a common wizard. Spell Lightning Bolt. Deal five damage, divide as you wish between two living targets in play. So it's very magic-ish, it seems, in a way. Got a rare wizard recruiter, um, Morlock's disciple, enlightened mage, Book bookworm Bilkins. <laughs> That's cool. This is like <laughs> a way more advanced version of magic, I guess. You got all these extra symbols and all these extra things you can do. Wizard's Apprentice. Ball Lightning, I guess, is the super rare or whatever it was. Because it's like a goldish color right there. Knight and Mage, Wizard Apprentice, Lightning Bolt, all the same cards again. Exploding Spear, and then it gets, oh, okay, so that's the first deck out of the two beginners. This one's Lord, Lord Two traps. Okay. Bindaku? Bindaho? Is that a K or H? K. Bindaku? That's interesting. Demonic Horn. Dark Tower. Dwarven Carpenter. Staff of Bone. Breath Stealer. Jojo. <laughs> These have some really funny names. Not names you would imagine for um undead. Uh Dwarven Miner, Jojo, Bat Zombie, Breath Stealer, Builder Recruiter. Dwarven Carpenter. My corn, dark tower. Was there a, was there a, um, ultra rare or something in this one? Didn't look like it. No, just the first one, I guess. These are all commons and commons. I wonder if he's, I don't know, if he's the the lord or the character for Unholy Dominion here since this guy, Lord Zykon, is the character for this deck. Let's see what we get in this pack. Globe of Insight Elder Gurge, Magic Drain, Medusa, Large Wall, So Harpy, Healing Blood, Talon Oakthine, Spontaneous Combustion, and your Guild. There's the rare, there's a character, Uncommons, Uncommon. So rare is in front, I guess. Keep this separate. Alright, what are we gonna look at next? Let's see. Unholy Dominion. Let's see if Lord Sue Traps is the beginning of this one. Or if he's the main character of this one.
Nope. Our character is Grimace Graver Gravorcious. Okay. We got Bad Zombie. Bone Mage. Cackling Lich. Cranial Leech. <laughs> this is so much like old school uh, magic art. It's awesome. Dark Knight. Destroyer of Light. Skeleton King. Tortured Soul. Crystal Ball. It's crazy how they got different color um, uh, borders for the different items and characters and stuff. Staff of Bone. Corpse Explosion. Legion of Skulls. Necrologue. Spontaneous Combustion. And you get a Game Basics thing to play with. There you go, that's Unholy Dominion. Did that seem like an Unholy Dominion? I think so. These uh, seem to fit more of a theme than what was the last game I looked at. Um, oh god, the name is escaping me right now. Maybe I'll think of it in a little bit. So we got Clerical Balance. It'd be cool if uh, these decks came with like a, a booster pack instead of just a two play kit. We got the game basics. Our character is Lady McDonnan. We got Acolyte. Builder Recruiter Chameleon Fairy Master Mkin Master Mason Gwenavine Starlit Fairy Tree Int Wandering Unicorn Tree Int again Wandering Cleric Wandering Unicorn again War Priest Dust of Invisibility Trade Agreement Castle New Structure and Fortress There you go Hmm Yeah I don't know if that one fit more of a theme. Yeah, I guess so. I like when um, her games try to stick to a theme of a deck. Next we have Dwarven Rampage.
at your rule book. We got Elder Gurge. It's going to there we go. Focus. Build a recruiter. Dwarven Archer. Dwarven Armor. Dwarven Carpenter. Dwarven Engineer. Dwarven Miner. Dwarven Smith. Enraged Dwarf. Talon Oakspine. Territorial Guard. Hammer of Speed. Trowel of Speed. You got your Fortress. Prison. And Thought Generator. Alright, I think that one, probably out of the most so far, has fit a theme very well. A lot of uh, super cool dwarves in there. And last but not least, Lord Zykon. I have no idea why this is just in a normal pack and now a box. Hopefully it's not one of these and I opened up the wrong box. If so, I have plenty more. I can look for an actual one if this one ended up being the two player kit deck and not the normal deck. Let's see. Nope, alright, this one seems normal. So we got game basics. We got Lord Zycon. Bookworm Bilkins. Enlightened Mage. Illusionist. Niles, I'm guessing that's how you say it. Morlock the Bane. Morlock's Disciple. Wizard Recruiter. Wizard's Apprentice. Hexagenia Swarm. Lightning Bolt. Of course, you can't have a mage deck without a Lightning Bolt. Thoughtful Study. Wizard's Web. Love Struck. And Unlimited Resources. All right, hopefully I'll get my hand on a couple of the booster boxes for the set so we can check those out. But this is what you got as far as advanced play decks and the starter kit. What you see is what you're going to get. And so there you have it. Mystical Empire. Old magic looking art. Love it. Wonder how the game actually plays. Hopefully I'll find out soon. And there you go. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And a bunch of more lovely games to open up.
And as always, see you next time.